Hi guys, so today we are making a surprise center cake and I'm theming it around St. Patty's Day. If you don't want to do that, then you can do any other holiday or just for fun. So we're gonna start out, I have six inch cakes and I have three layers ready to go. We are doing cookies and cream and then a mint buttercream to go with it. I have a cake board, an eight inch cake board ready to go and I chose gold just cause we're doing a St. Patty's Day theme. I have my buttercream ready. I have an offset spatula and two cake cones. So one of them is for stripes and the other one is for smoothing. And then I have a couple piping bags, piping tip, bowl, and food coloring. So, hope you're ready. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna grab our cake rounds. And so with these, I also have a round cookie cutter. And because these cakes were frozen, I'm also going to take a sharp knife and just make sure that when I do the cookie cutter that it goes all the way through so I can pop the center out so we can fill it with whatever you'd like. These are really fun to do for gender reveal cakes as well. It's my favorite way to do them. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it and make sure we're in the center. Look all the way around once that's good. Just go ahead and push on it. And then once you have, once you can see the little circle, then I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm just going to go around the cake. I thought this would be fun for the neighborhood kids to have as a little. Okay, and once that's through, you have the center and the hole. So once this piece is done, go ahead and set it aside and now we'll do the other two. My cake turntable back where I need it. All three layers ready to go. So I'm gonna put my cake board down, pick up the cake layer that's on there, add a little buttercream to the bottom of it to help it stick and pop it right back down. Get it pushed down. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and take your buttercream and start going around your cake. It's okay if you get some in the middle because we are going to fill the middle in with buttercream. Not the whole thing, we're just gonna do a really thin layer on it. Kind of like a crumb coat on the middle. So you don't get cake crumbs all in your center of these. And I'm just using an American buttercream. I added some mint to it. Go with the cookies and cream, a little grasshopper flavor. And as you can tell, I'm taking my offset spatula and I'm just turning it around the inside of it. So I'm just turning my cake board or cake turntable, and kind of smoothing it out inside, smooth it out on top, add more buttercream. In my classes, I always have people ask how much buttercream to add. You add as much as your heart desires. I figure since my neighborhood kids are eating this, I don't have to deal with them, so we're just gonna add more sugar to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my next cake layer. And you just wanna make sure that it's even and lined up on the outside as well as the inside. And we're gonna repeat those steps. And we're also right here, just gonna go ahead and go do a quick crumb coat on here as you would any other cake. Doesn't have to be perfect. We'll make it perfect when we get all three layers on.
does not have to be crazy smooth because at the end of the day we are just going to go ahead and add our final coat. Yes, just one second maybe. So we're gonna go ahead and do stripes on this final design. So once that's good, I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge for about five, 10 minutes and then we'll get started on our stripes. So now we're going to go ahead and do our stripes. So I'm gonna add a layer of my white buttercream. I'm just gonna go all the way around. You wanna do it kind of thick, because with this we are doing stripes. If you haven't done stripes before, you do want the buttercream somewhat thicker, just so when we go around with our comb and smooth it out, it will take some of that buttercream off. So I usually do it a little thicker to start out with. Just go ahead and keep doing that. And if you prefer using the piping bag where you go ahead and fill that and go around the cake, you do that you are most comfortable with. Okay, now that's on there. I'm going to take my smooth on cake scraper again and I am going to just go around and smooth it out. If you notice that chunks of buttercream are missing, go ahead and spill those in. Some right in there. Over there. This layer doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Aster Cake Stripe Comb. And with this one, I'm going to be ombreing some color through here. Whoop, wrong side. <laughs> and so I'm just going to go around and I'm adding quite a bit of pressure just to remove that buttercream where the stripes need to be. And I'm just going to keep going around. And as I go around, I almost turn it, start this way and turn it towards the cake to fill in those areas that need more buttercream, as you can tell. Just turn it towards the cake and keep going all the way around. And just scrape off your comb and keep going. And usually with the last couple layers, I like to heat up my comb, so I just run it under hot, hot water. All right, now that our cake is ready to go, I have all my colors ready. And so I did the thick line at the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the thick, and then it's gonna fade up to the lighter color. And so the thickest is gonna be the darkest color. That's what I'm choosing to do. And my darkest green. And I'm just gonna go around and fill it in. does not have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and smooth this out. And just keep going up. And now the lightest shade.
last time I have my Smooth Hound Cake Cow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm adding quite a bit of pressure just to go ahead and pull those colors to smooth it out. And it's gonna look like this at first. It's what we want. I'm gonna take what's left on my comb and scrape it off and keep going around. And you're gonna go around quite a few times. Okay, now I'm gonna warm up my comb and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Bake. Uh, it is gonna to start to freeze those buttercream stripes that you put in there. So that's why I warmed up the comb to help it pull the extra. And if you are seeing any empty spots, you need those filled in. Just take whatever color you need and go ahead and fill those blank spots in. Again. And I'm going to heat it again and go around one last time. And now with the buttercream that's on top, I'm just going to go ahead and scrape it off. Warmed. I'm going to go around. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and fill our center. Mm, so excited. Okay. So I have the little six lit gold balls that I'm just gonna pop them in. And if you want, you can alter with some. I have rainbow sprinkles here with gold in there too. Fill that in. Now we're gonna get our centerpiece that we cut out and I'm gonna pop it in there. And so the reason why I cut it in half was because the cake layers are a little thick and so we're able to put more stuff in the center so when you cut into it, more stuff will fall. Ooh, lost them. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of buttercream around so when you push it in, it'll help it stay. Push that right down. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add buttercream to the top layer. I'm just doing my white. this doesn't have to be crazy smooth because I'm just gonna do a swirl on top and, and add sprinkles. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get those corners nice and sharp. Be 
these smooth hounds, the cake scrapers are good for so many things. I just love them. Okay, so now that that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and use my 1M tip, and I'm gonna put some white buttercream in there, and I'm also gonna add some green. I'll show you how I do that right now. Take the second darkest color, and I'm just gonna squeeze it into my piping bag and kind of push it down, and I'm gonna fill the rest with white. You pretty much just fold it around. And once that is done, I have some St. Patrick's Day sprinkles here from Sweets and Treats, and they are called Lucky Charms. I'm just going to add some of these to the top, a little bit around. Fill the top with it too. Never have enough sprinkles. All right, 